Hello and welcome back to the Common Cult Podcast, the Colts podcast with real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. What's up, Dan? Hey, the day's finally here. JT press conference, man. Wow. I mean, it's kind of like a, uh, a quarter of the season injection of potential, but I don't know. I mean, there's still big question marks. Josh, uh, how are you feeling right now after this press conference you saw today? Well, we get one more reactions, and I know the title of this video is When Will Jonathan Taylor Play? And we're definitely going to talk about that and some other stuff uh, as Colts fans. But for me, my one word reaction is it's funny. It's just kind of funny that the media, national media, even some Colts local media were saying, oh, Jonathan Taylor will never play another down for the Colts. He's he's a day away from being traded or some local guys were saying things along the lines of this relationship is far worse than you'll ever imagine. It's, I don't know where they get their sources from. Maybe they do have people inside telling these things, but, or maybe Chris Ballard is a miracle worker or these guys is like riding the wave of, of drama and, and getting clicks. But either way, Jonathan Taylor is going to play football for the Indianapolis Colts again. And I just think it's funny how the media can always find their way to shift the narrative and make them and just kind of like, Oh yeah, forget I said that because because, yeah, Taylor's back. That's the big news. So, I don't know. How do you, how do you feel? Well, I'm, I'm not going to give one word. I'm going to give a one-person kind of an analogy. Marshawn Lynch is what I felt. Remember when Marshawn Lynch is like, hey, I'm just here not to get fined. Yeah. Okay, that, that's exactly what I felt JT was. But not get fined. He's just saying, hey, I'm just here because I want to get paid. Okay, that's the bottom line to all this. JT just wants to get a contract. He knows he has to play. Colts know he has to play. This battle, whether they they love each other, or they hate each other, it doesn't really matter right now. That'll be that'll be decided in the off season, uh, whether or not he gets another contract. And, and they might be right; he might never not get a lot, uh, another contract. This might be all it is for JT, but he has to play, and the Colts know that, and he has to play well because he wants to get paid. So uh, he was just doing that press conference. He he kind of said all the right things. Uh, who, who knows if he was like pinching himself underneath the table, or or you know he was just kind of you know, reading off uh, cue cards because he had to say it. But the good news is he's here. The good news is he is a dynamic player. The good news is the Colts need a little bit more punch. They've been playing really well, but, uh, you know, and, and, and again, uh, hats off to Zach Moss. Uh, you know, he's not going to be done. He's still going to be an integral part of this team. It's not like JT is going to come in and take 30 carries. Uh, what's going to come in, though, is a playmaker and an explosive one. And now other teams have to start game planning. And, uh, man, I am super excited. I actually, again, we're going to talk how much is he going to play? What, what do we expect? I'm expecting big things. I, I really am. I, I don't try to get over the top uh, on some stuff. I, I know I was, you know, fantasy football players out there. I was touting, uh, you know, Alec, uh, Smith, or Alec Pierce. And, yeah, and he's been a bust. Okay, I was wrong on that one. I can admit on that. He, he's not putting up any fantasy, fantasy numbers. But I think JT is going to. Uh, not sure this week, but he's going to put up big numbers. Uh, and this is an exciting day. Well, it's it's good, and and just so you guys know, we're obviously we we try to shoot people straight and be honest, and, and we are a Colts fan cast. And I think sometimes as fans or fan podcast, it's easy to kind of get caught up in the emotional roller coaster. And we just try to be honest, or good, bad, or indifferent. So if you like that, subscribe to our channel. We're really close to two thousand. But um, you know, in the press conference, he definitely said the right things. He said he's 100% healthy, which was important. He said he's glad to be back with his teammates. He's focused on the Titans, which might have been a cue to say, hey, this boy's trying to play this week. Um, yep. When asked if he wants to be an Indianapolis Colt, he said he didn't say, uh, he didn't say, yes, I want to be a Colt or I want to be a Colt for life. That was not the line. Yep. It was, it was pretty much, he literally said, it doesn't matter what I want. I have to do what's best for the city, for the team, and for my teammates. And that's to win a, uh, a trophy for the Colts. You know what? At least he can't. This doesn't get replayed in five months when he's still asked to leave. So I think the truth is there's still some things are better. It's not perfect. The season will play a big part of that. And obviously, if the Colts re-sign him or try to try to give him a sincere offer, I think that'll make him happy. The guy just wants paid. And uh, I thought he did at least a very masterful job of putting a smile on his face, taking the bullets from the media, and, and doing a good job. And honestly, when we talk about game uh, playing the football game against the Tennessee Titans, which is what we all want to see, I still think this boy is going to play. I just think he is. Yeah. And He's had that walkthrough um, on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, excuse me, on Wednesday, that walkthrough. So today was his first real practice. The guy's had two full practices. It's not like he's fresh off this injury. It sounds like he's been healthy for a while. And believe me, when I think he's been doing all the reps and all the stuff to get healthy, he's posted videos. We've talked about all that. 
I think he's going to play, maybe not in full capacity, but knowing Shane Steichen the way we have learned him to be, there's going to be some JT packages, even if it's for 10, 12 snaps. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, just think about this for a second. Look around the, the NFL, the teams that have this dual-threat quarterback like AR. You look at the the Ravens, uh, you look at the Eagles, uh, some of these teams, you know, what, what do they all have? They all have a really good, strong running game because yeah. it's so hard to defend when you got to account for another guy. But you look at those backs, like look at, you know, Miles Sanders for, for the Eagles last year. You look at um, – Swift this year, you look at, mm-hmm. uh, you know, J.K. Dobkins and, and others, you know, none of those backs are comparable to what JT, JT can be. Like he is another level type back and you put him now in this system that the other team has to account for the for the quarterback as well. All of a sudden, those linebackers, they, they freeze for a second. Does JT have the ball? Does AR have the ball? And if they freeze for a second, JT hits that hole. He could be gone. I mean, uh, look, again, you talk about we don't want to be, you know, if, uh, you know, super fans here. Or we don't want to be homers and all this stuff. But just putting on my kind of like, OK, let's look at this big picture thing. JT could be a monster. He, he could, could be. be a really big monster the rest of the season. And it could be exactly what this Colts team needs to to start stacking some wins. Well, let's, and I am excited. Let's be real here. I mean, Ryan Kelly didn't play last week. Our left tackle was out. Um, so. All of a sudden, we're, we could be getting offensive line back. We could be getting Jonathan Taylor back. I mean, this team could be getting a lot of key players back. But me and you both, and I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're still, you still believe he's going to play. I think in the NFL at this point, you see guys get signed on Tuesday, and they're, they're in for red zone packages. They're in for you know third, third and inches packages. Jonathan Taylor has been in the meetings. He knows the play. It's not like he doesn't know the playbook. It's not like he's a free agent or a guy that just got traded to the team. He's been in the building. He's been in the meetings. He's been, pra- no, he hasn't been practicing necessarily with the team, but he's been, he's been doing drills. It's not like he's been on his couch, just sitting there, like not with the, doing anything. The guy has been involved with the Colts organization and in communication with his teammates. I don't see a scenario where he doesn't play in some capacity. I just think he's going to play. Yeah, now, now again, the Titans do have a good run defense, okay? Uh, so let's give them credit there. They got a good run defense. Their pass defense is not so good. So the, the advantage of the Colts this weekend is probably a lot of play action, a lot of RPO, a lot of stuff uh, through the air. But e- even still, JT's a weapon in that area too. Uh, I'm going to, again, predict. I'm going to about 10 to 12 touches, a combination of carries and and some passes. Uh, like you said, there's going to be specific packages that are going to relate be related to him. I think he's going to score a touchdown. I think he's going to have a good, solid first game. Uh, I, I, I am just, I'm more excited. Okay, it's the Titans week. We can't stand the Titans. Uh, you know, nothing's better than beating a, a division rival like this. But to add JT onto this, man, this this is exciting, and, and I'm ready to go for Sunday. If you're running a fantasy team, if you're a fantasy owner, would you start JT this week, or are you wait one more week? No, no. Well, I mean, if you're starting JT this week, you probably have probably have uh, some b- other bad options. Uh, yeah. Uh. He, you don't want to start him. You want to see what he does first. Yeah. Um, I but agree. Uh, if you know, if you're if you were starting Zach Moss, I might not be starting Zach Moss anymore. I agree. Uh, because I I think uh, he's going to lose out on some of these uh, touches and, yeah. and opportunities to score a touchdown. I'm right there with you. Uh, it's going to be interesting, guys. And again, we're so close to 2000. If you enjoy the the authentic kind of realistic, hey, this is what it is. We're just Colts fans, just trying to give the team attention and and, and not just spew a bunch of BS. Subscribe to our channel, comment. We love it. We love interacting with you guys. We appreciate you watching our show. And until next time, have a great day.